Hello everyone, this is Wilson. Today I want to talk about this limit problem with a keyword. And so if you look at this one here, there is, um, if you're plugging the 64 into this Q root here, you're going to get the four, four minus four, you're going to get zero. And then if you're plugging the 64 here in the denominator, you are also going to be getting zero. So we are getting zero over zero and that's an indeterminate form. So we cannot really draw any conclusion, right? For what this function is approaching to. Um, so now what can we do here? Um, we just see that in the denominator, this expression is a linear expression. It's x minus 64. And you can see that this x is actually the cube of uh, the q root of x. And then the 64 is actually the cube of the 4. And so maybe we can find some way to see how we can cancel the factor so that we can cancel out the indeterminate form. So now let's just recall something here because that looks like a difference of two cubes, right? So let's just recall something here. Okay, so what I wanna recall is that we have the difference of two cubes, which is when you have the cube of something minus the cube of the other number. What happens, what is that equal to? That's equal to a minus b okay so we have the a and then we have the b and then times uh we are going to get a trinomial this time for uh for the other factor so it's actually going to be uh a square right the square of this first turn so we are going to be getting the a square okay and then we are going to be getting the plus and we have the two terms multiplied together to form this middle term for the trinomial. It's a times b. Okay, so those two terms multiply together. And then lastly, we are going to be getting the second term square. Okay, so that's how we factor the difference of two cubes. And what we can do right now is that we are going to rewrite this x minus 4 into this form. And then you may say, but x is not a cube, right? But we, we see that x is actually the cube of uh, the cube root of x. And so what we can do is that we just try to fill in the blanks in here and figure out what a is, what b is. Okay, so what are we doing here? We can write we can write x minus 64, right? We can write x minus 64 as something cubed minus something cubed. And then we can do the factorization from there. So now uh, what do we feel inside this first blank right here? We need to think about something that we cube. We are going to get the x, which is actually just exactly this thing right here. So we are actually getting a to be the q root of x. And then see that if you cube the q root, then you are just going to be getting the x. Okay, so that's good. And then what about this one? This second blank would be easy. The second blank is going to be just the four because if you cube the four, you're gonna get the 64 and then the minus sign is still there. So we actually figure out what A is, what B is, and then we can try to factor this and see if we, good things will happen. So let's try that. So now we are going into this limit problem now. We have, um, limit as x approaching 64. Now the numerator, we are not going to do anything to, um, we are just going to write it down, right? But we are going to factor the denominator. So we have, then we need more. Yeah, we need the fraction line to be that long. Okay, so we have a, we have b, and then we are going to just factor this expression as that. Okay, so it's the first factor is a binomial with a minus b, right? So we are going to have a, which is, what is that? a is this thing, right? And this is a, and so we get the q root of x, okay? And then minus, right? Following this formula right here. And then the b, b is the four. So b is the four, and so minus the four. And then now times, now the second factor is the a square. So we got to square the a. Okay, so the a, that's the a, right? That's the a. And then we are going to be squaring it. And then plus, 
Now the AB, A times B, just multiply those two things together. We are getting the four. Okay, so I put the B first because I usually put the constant first and then the Q root of X. Okay, so that's the AB. And then lastly, we are going to be getting um, the B square, which is, well, we can calculate this one because we're scoring the four. So we are going to be getting 16. So we get the 16 here. Um, yeah, so the fractional line is not long enough. So not, let me redraw that. Okay, so so that it looks better. Okay, so we factor this x minus 64 into those two factors. Now, do you see what's going on here? It's really just this factor, right? The q root of x minus 4, that's causing the 0 over 0. And it turns out that we can actually cancel them right now. Okay, so if we are canceling them, then do you see what's going on here? We do not have that anymore. So we are left with just the one, right? And then over the denominator. And then I think I should simplify the denominator at this time, right? When I bring down the next step. So I'm actually getting x to the, what, 2 over 3, right? Because we can rewrite it in the fraction exponent. And then this one, we can just leave it for now. So we get the q root of x times 4, and then plus the 16. And actually, because we do not really have the indeterminate form anymore, we can just directly substitute the 64 in there. We would be able to get the final answer. So if you do that, then we are going to be getting, what is that? That's going to be the 64 um, raised to, actually, let's just plug in that number, right? So we have 2 over 3. And then what is that 64 that we plug in in there? That's the, yeah, so that's 64 raised to the 2 over 3 power in the denominator plus the 4 times the q root of 64. And then lastly, we add the 16, right? And then all that are in the denominator. So let me still just put that. And then we have the 1 at the top. And so now what do we get here? We calculate this and we are going to be getting, uh, let's take the Q word as a 64. That's going to give me a four, four square is 16. So we are getting a 16 at the bottom plus. Now, what about this one? This one is also, this one is also equal to four. So four times four, we are also going to be getting 16 plus, plus. And then the last one, which is a 16. So we are actually getting all three 16s added together. And then we have the one at the top. And so that would actually be simple, right? We have the final answer already, which is one over 48 because you times this, the 16 um, by three, then you are gonna get one over 48. So that's my final answer here. Okay, so this problem, um, we cannot really use the technique with the uh, <clears throat> the multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate as how you usually handle the square roots, uh, but we can actually use factoring for this one. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like and then subscribe to the channel and then also leave me a comment. And then also please share my videos to other people and then <clears throat> And then there are some videos that you can check out here that will also um, be related to this one. So you can, you can check them out. And then, okay, so thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.